Uh, 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 folks, uh, uh, now we're graced. We've just talked to Terry Baum, uh, uh, a candidate for mayor. Goodbye, Terry. She's heading out the door there with her campaign manager. Hi, Terry. And, and the other guy uh, sitting next to me waving at her going out the door is Pat Monk. Pat Monk, RN, registered nurse. Uh, uh, dealt with a lot of people who had everything in the world torn off of them and gutted out of them and into them and all this. And now Pat, like myself, is old, and uh, uh, one of his hobbies, as is mine, is uh, covering the San Francisco political scene and commenting to try to influence public comment. Uh, 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 Pat, in your uh, uh, in your 49th year of, uh, of life, uh, uh, what do you feel about your life and what's important to you? 49? Huh? I, uh, 66. Anyway, um, you've got to be desperate to have me on here, H. <laughs> Um, no, you talk a lot. You're 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 yeah, an influential you're an influential vote a uh, 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 voice online. Uh, and I said, so, so people need to uh, get to see what your face looks like. This is Pat Monk RN that you've been seeing for years and years across all of your online sites. So so Pat, now you're going to choke up and you can't handle a, 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 no, a camera on you. No. Um, bottom line. Well, I'm, saying, I'm so disgusted and disappointed with what's going on. Like, all me, over. It, me too. It's me not. Too. It's not just San Francisco. It's just what's happening here is just a microcosm of what's uh, going on nationwide and worldwide. Worldwide. And I'm, I'm really not like me. It, it's like there's a tsunami, a, a fucking disaster uh -huh. around the world, from, from Japan all the way through the Middle East. And all this, I, I agree with you, man. Expand, please. And it, you know, to me, it's not unexpected. You know, like, you, I mean, to me, I'm surprised it's taken this long. I mean, this this quote price we've got now has been building for decades and decades and decades. I'm kind of glad to see it, though. What about you? Well, I've been hoping, hoping against hope, since back in the fifties, that maybe. They would drop the big one, and uh, only those who are fit enough to be able to survive by their own wit and wile and guile would survive and make it. Because who expected the the, the entire Soviet bloc uh, 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 to fold? And what was it, eighty six or eighty seven or something like? Who the fuck expected that? I, I mean, and suddenly you've got the Middle East just ready to uh, collapse down. The the question is, once you get the dictators out of there, once the Stalinists are out of Eastern Europe, and once the uh, uh, the, the the whatever the fuck uh, 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 the sheiks the uh, uh, the top rulers the kings and all that in the Middle East are gone. Who takes their place? What well, happens? The, the, the problem is the dictators that we're getting that are getting out of there. The dictators that we put in there and we've been supporting for decades. Thank you, thank you. And you know it's it's just like it's, it's the same old shit all over again. I mean these these chickens have been flying around and coming home to roost. They finally come home to roost. I just don't know if it. If there's enough time left for the quote American public, the middle class, the protected middle class, to realize that it's now the shit is up to their necks. Before it was up to everybody else around the world was drowning in this. Now it's really come home with destroying unions. Let's let's get to the point. Uh, uh, the, the point of the matter is uh, that America is a diverse community, and as a diverse community, we have millions and millions of, of citizens here who uh, hearken from the Middle East, who have family and friends there, and all this. I don't think personally that this is going to hurt the oil companies one whit. But, uh, but getting get, but getting rid of the dictators in the Middle East, uh, 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 how will this translate down uh, 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 to the Palestinian uh, uh, grocers who run uh, 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 so many shops, or 400 of them in the one organization or all that? How is that going to uh, 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 boil down? What's the effect going to be on that of the Muslim population of San Francisco? You know, I don't. I really don't think it's going to have not, that much more effect. I think it's got to the point now where. We are all subject to the same corrupt system, and it's finally now it's coming home here where all those folks who felt they were protected, who had this dream of being able to become wealthy and rich, and the American dream has always been based on a fallacy and illusion, and it's now turned into a nightmare, which is which is coming home. I mean, one one thing that burns my ass is that with all this, for example. It's come out, it's been exposed more often recently about how all these top corporations are not paying any taxes. And yet we're paying taxes. I think Congress, they're thinking about like the problem with the budget and they're talking about raising these cuts. And they're still only dealing with, you, you know the numbers better than I do. 
they're trying to make all these cuts in something that is probably, what, 5-10% of the budget? Things like um, non-payment of corporate taxes, like the military industrial complex, the medical industrial complex, all those things are somehow off the table and everything is being put upon the backs of you and I and other folks, the Palestinian grocers, the guy who's got um, a job in some dot-com company, um, none of none of us are protected. It's the whole the whole system's coming down. This whole illusion. And the other thing is like, no, no, quit bitching and give me <laughs> solutions. <laughs> um, solutions number one. I think there should be significant cuts and uh, reevaluation of the money we're spending on the defense department. Cut it in half. I say. Cut it in half. That, that'd be good for the no, no, cut it in half and redirect it into emergency rescue operations uh, 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 for the entire face of the earth. We should be the masters of disaster. Yeah. Go on. The, the, I, I agree. Cut defense in half. The, the next thing At least. Should, the next thing we should deal with is the medical pharmaceutical industrial complex. We need a national health care. We need national health care. We need something. To me, the idea that health care for people should be a for-profit industry is a total anathema. I mean, I look at it. We're the only industrial, oh, major industrial country, uh, oh, that does not have national health care. And, it, and it's that, a disgrace. And the delivery of our health care and the results from it, we rank like way down at the bottom of the developed countries. And, and you know, you, you know what the biggest joke of all this shit is? Uh, uh, all the groups that. Uh, that deliver the care on site, like CPMC in San Francisco, they call themselves nonprofit. <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny. They don't pay any taxes, you know. Uh, 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 but Sutter uh, uh, Healthcare, which is the uh, the top boss under which uh, CPMC operates, uh, just uh, got nailed by the state for overcharging for hundreds of millions of dollars on uh, on tests that they didn't even. A create I, I mean I mean you've got an enormous bureaucracy in American health care something like 16 20 percent or some shit for administrative and to justify themselves they, they create more income by doing fake tests and this and that and all um, doctors it's like the union rank and file uh, uh, is fine in San, in, in San Francisco in the United States I hate the leaders I hate the brass uh, 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 the doctors and nurses that run uh, uh, all of the clinics and the hospitals across the United States hey uh, uh, Patrick's a nurse my sisters were nurse practitioners and all this I was an emergency medical technician I grew up these are all good people We've got monsters running our economy on every level and in every position, from the banks all the way down. And my question is, Patrick, do you think we should go out and kill them? I don't think we should go out and kill anybody. <laughs> but, but you mentioned Sutter. Sutter, I mean, I work for Sutter as, just a, hosp as a hospice case manager, and Sutter just recently fired me. They fired me because I'm, I, I am convinced there's a, there's a policy, and I think it's a deliberate policy, that any um, nurse or case manager who is experienced, has a lot of experience under the belt, in empirical evidence, and a lot of, um, I've spent a lot of time dealing with hundreds and hundreds of patients and their families as I have over the year. There is a policy to get rid of old experienced nurses who have empirical and experiential evidence in what works, because, and we know it because we're in the patient's house day after day after day, and yet we are governed by these bottom line bean counters and also some inexperienced middle management types who are much more happy having younger, inexperienced, more quote trainable nurses in there who will basically do their bedding and check off the boxes. Um, but as you, as you said, like single payer, there has to be some way to take, I mean, if, correct, again, if I'm wrong, there's something in the Constitution that says I'm the guaranteed life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. My feeling has always been that if you don't have your health, how can you have any of those things? It's an Tony! Tony! I'm trying to get your attention here. I want to wrap this one down and do another get one. Get over with okay. you. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. okay. No, no, Go let us keep going. I hope it says record. I don't know. Okay, go ahead.
so, all right, so quickly, lo locally, I don't want to get in, in, in Basically, what we're doing, uh, 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 and we'll publish all this on the net and all this, because Tony wants a 30-minute thing, so he wants like five or six five-minute interviews, and I'm I'm watching the clock, and he's way past it on this. And, and he wants to leave me on the cutting room floor. Tony don't give a floor. fuck. He's just wandering around being a fucking super, being a fucking superstar. He's being a fucking superstar wandering around here. Uh, what, 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 so you don't want to kill the rich. No. Uh, 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 I want to uh, tax him and I want to let him ship him down to Guantanamo. Okay. Um, let me, one, one thing first, uh, just to, to wrap up. Um, there's an election coming up. I don't want to kill the rich either, folks. There's an election coming up. No matter who runs, get out there and vote. Get involved. I mean, I don't know if there's a chance to turn this city around, but somebody's got to stand up for, for people, for human beings, health and human services. Folks, let me, let me close this down in reality. Next the time United, I'll bring you cigars and some whiskey. Right? The United States is in great shape. Uh, you start on the uh, on the eastern shelf of the, of the country, and you'll find we have the, uh, the best fisheries for lobsters, uh, crabs, whatever, and all this. It's an amazing thing. Uh, you want to run inland, and you find out, and you run through Pennsylvania and, and the, the south, and you realize that we create more board feet of lumber. Uh, uh, through 10-year uh, growths of Lapalazzi pine uh, in North uh, uh, Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama, uh, that we, we actually uh, 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 grow more than we harvest. Our problem is on the other coast for uh, uh, for not harvest. We shouldn't harvest native growth, but we've got lumber, we've got fisheries. We move inland, and you find out we've got more fresh water than anybody in the world. The Great Lakes is all fresh water. We've got all of the aquifers running through there. We have 18 feet of topsoil and uh, uh, running from uh, the Canadian border all the way down to Kansas. In the world, 18 inches is considered good. We've got 18 feet. We're blessed. We've got more coal than anybody in the world. We've got more granite. We've got more lead. We've got more copper. We've got more zinc. Uh, 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 we've got more limestone. Uh, uh, the United States of America is in great shape. The problem is with the leadership. And uh, people that want to change the leadership are people like myself and Patrick Monk, my, uh, our, our guest today. Patrick, thank you. That's why it's called the Ace Brown Hour, folks. <laughs> Hour for H and minutes for the people. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll cut out your minute. In the edit.